Hey guys, you Boy Care Bears, and welcome to my review for episode 8 of season 6 A Mile of Pony Friendship is Magic. It's May. I'm gonna start off with that. You know, just, just, just in case you don't regularly check your calendar, just in case you thought it was summer or month, I just wanna reiterate it's May! May! We are a full, full seven months away from Christmas, yet My Little Pony aired a Christmas episode. And I don't care if they call it something else, it's Christmas! It's, it was bullshit. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Fly through this episode because I could not give a rat's fucking ass. I I've lost the enthusiasm for Christmas, and Christmas episodes are just so cheap. But the fact that they're airing it in May, in May, I reiterate that it is May. Not November, not December. Hell, it's not even October, and they've they've aired a Christmas episode. What the fuck? What the actual fuck were they thinking? I would love to have sat in that room when the MLP writers decided. Oh uh, yeah, episode eight. What, what should we do for episode eight? We just this brought Trixie back, and we're getting ready for a second rarity episode. What should we put in between? And some idiot went. I don't know. Let's do a heartwarming episode in May, because no one will point out the flaws with that. And no one said, no, that's a stupid idea, you're fired. No one said that. Apparently, maybe that guy got, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that guy got promoted. That's just how it works. You come up with a stupid idea, and apparently you're a genius. Yes, uh, that guy got promoted, or now he works for WWE. He works stupid ideas are praised all the time. Like... How Roman Reigns is the WWE Champion, but this is not about that. So, yeah, it's May. So, what happened? So, the episode starts off with the whole town singing about Heartwarming Eve. Again! Because we didn't get enough of them singing about out Winter, or back when they sang Winter Wrap Up. Or even during the play a few few seasons ago. Oh my god! I have to get through this episode before I go fucking mad. So after the whole town join in in helping decorate meet the castle. What? What? Okay, they didn't do that last Christmas episode. Oh, and shouldn't they be decorating their own houses? And look, even the appearance of background ponies like Derpy could not save this episode. That's how stupid this episode was. It was stupid and pointless. Stupid and pointless. Yes. So, despite Derpy being as awesome as ever, nothing could save this episode. So, let's run down what happened in this episode. Starlight pretty much said, fuck. Heart's warming. It's bullshit. She didn't say that exactly because, you know, it's a kid's show. But, no. I'm putting my own little spin on it. That's how I do things. And Twilight's like, okay, you've never had a real heart's warming. 
nothing. Let me sit you down. I'll read you the, a, a heartwarming story. So. Ooh, Twilight reads the pony version of a Christmas carol. I am so sick of a Christmas carol. It is one of the most overused Christmas episode ideas ever. Almost everyone who had in a few Christmas episodes has done a Christmas episode where it's a parody of a Christmas carol. Stop it! The original oh, Christmas carol is really good. It, it, every time you remake it, it, you're ruining it. Like how the Jim Carrey he, Grinch movie, he, and even though I, I'm a huge fan of Jim Carrey, that movie was a far cry from the original classic. Heck, don't remake things if, if it doesn't need to be remade. I didn't need to see a ponyified version of A Christmas Carol where your Starlight was put into the role of Scrooge. Ooch. Ooch. And, well, she had a really good song. I'll give her that. A really good song. Mm. Mm. Just... <sighs> this episode... In fact, after Twilight finished reading her the story, of course she joins in, hearts warming. Woo! Yeah! <sighs> On the plus side, it's over. Yeah, that's the only plus side. No amount of back row and ponies or randomly appearing parents because his not only were her Applejack's immediate family there, Rarity's parents showed up again, and Rainbow's dad was there. Yeah. Out of nowhere, first time that he's shown up in an, any episodes since since the flashback Eck? Eck? Although we didn't see Rainbow's mother, so either she's same as Applejack and Apple Bloom's mother, which, hmm, or she didn't get invited or couldn't make. Also, Twilight's parents weren't there, because of course they weren't. Is Hasbro going to say why Twilight's parents just never seem, just don't seem to care? So, I get the feeling that Twilight and her parents had a big falling out or something. Because they just, they, they seem to have a broken relationship of some description. Rainbow's dad has made more trips to Ponyville than Twilight's parents. Twilight slipped in Ponyville oh, oh, for now, oh, six years. Yes, technically. He. Now, we don't know how long Rainbow's lived in Ponyville, and this is the first time he's shown up, but... His appearance is, is in Ponyville 1. Twilight's appearance is... Zero. Nah. Zilch. So, Asbro, instead of doing more Christmas episodes, explain that. And while you're at it, explain in, in, in a way kids can understand. I know well, well, it can be a touchy subject, but you're not building on that, that huge kind of bomb that you dropped on us last season. Where's the episode to explain what happened to Applejack's parents? Give us that episode! Oh, you. Overall, a heart's more 
Mink Tail, 0 out of 10. Fuck Christmas episodes. I'm actually looking forward to next week's episode, and Rarity's my least favorite character out of the main six. That should tell you how bad this episode was. 0 out of 10. Unless you're a huge Christmas fan, or just don't want to miss anything, don't rewatch or watch this episode. It's for your, your own sanity. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you think thought of the episode. I'm gonna go and uh, watch anything and everything I can to make sure I quickly forget this episode. Until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. Peace!